today in this video, I would like to talk to you a little bit more about how to do aftercare for your hair. Because you just recently purchased a hair extension or had an installation with us, so we want to make sure that you know how to do to take care of your hair at home. Okay? So what we need is a wet brush or something like that. This one is a hair extension brush, but wet brush is okay too. We also recommend to use sulfate-free shampoo and conditioners, anything that is professionally used. Um, this one is my lifesaver, which is a dry shampoo. So let's start. First, um, Diana here has a few rows of tape extensions. So once you had your professionally done uh, tape extensions, by the time you get home, in a few days, you start to feel like your hair is a little bit oily. So usually around here, it becomes oily or you work out a lot and get sweaty. So what I like to do is uh, prolong the, uh, the blowout for the tape extensions. So I use a dry shampoo. So I usually just spray with a dry shampoo in the area and then rub a little bit, get the oil off of it. And then I start brushing. So when I brush, I always brush from the bottom. We want to detangle, we want to be gentle. And then we brush and brush, and then we go moving up. However, when we move up, we want to uh, be sure to hold on to the bonded area or the tape area, so we don't yank anything out. Be gentle with it. Because you invest quite a bit of money for this, so you want to make sure the hair extension lasts and lasts. Okay, that's good. So once everything is already detangled, then you're ready to shower. So use the uh, professionally um, uh, created hair um, shampoos and conditioners for sulfate free. And we wet the hair completely. Hang on. Like this, right? So please do not use your nail tips, use the fingertips. So when, you, when your hair is all, all wet, put the shampoo and then you go like this, slowly, gently, to wash your hair. Now she also has um, eye tips installed. So with those, it's the same thing. You gently wash like this. Do not be rough, no scrubbing, just like that. And then let the water run clear. Right after the hair is done, when you get out of the shower, use microfiber towel or any good absorbent towel. Make sure you're toweling all of the hair, uh, the wetness off of it. Do not use high heat, especially around the bonded areas, the uh, the tape strips and things like that, because you want to make sure um, they last for a long time and they don't they don't slip. So again, with the wet brush, the good thing about it is you can. Um, brush your hair when it's still wet. It won't uh, drag. It won't create any uh, outage. So it's safe. Okay, so that's how you do it. And then when you blow dry, make sure you blow dry from the top areas first and then avoiding high heat on the bonded areas. Okay. So, talking about Diana with the two types of tape extensions and eye tip, I want to show you my weft. So, I haven't washed my hair in one week. I've been using dry shampoo. So, now it's time to wash. So, what I do is, again, I brush the hair so it's not tangly. Brush, brush, while holding this on. And then, I get in the water and what I do is I lift this put the shampoo and I go like this. And yeah, this is the most important is these uh, rows so that it's clean, free of uh, flakes or whatever. And then let the hair down and then do the next row, let the hair down and then the whole, uh, the water comes through clean and clear. That's it, it's very easy. So, I, to end this uh, video, I just wanted to let you know that at the end, after your hair is all dry, then you're ready to go to bed. Make sure that you put your hair to the side like this or loosely braid it um, before you go to bed. So never ever sleep with the damp hair or wet hair. 
that causes a lot of tangling and matting and that's really damaging for your hair extensions. Um, if you have um, satin or silk pillowcases, that would be best too. But if not, just make sure the hair is brushed neatly, put on a side like this or a loose spray and then ready for sleep. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.